Annyeonghaseyo. I'm Demar Slay. I'm Arielle. And we're so do you for two. two. Okay, so the next review we're going to be doing is a personal taste or personal preference. And this came out in 2010. Okay, so the characters. So we have Son Yi Jin plays Park Gae In. Lee Min Ho plays uh, Jun Jae Jin Hoo. Uh, Kim Ji Suk plays Hong Kong Ru. And then Wang Ji Hat He plays Kim In Hee. I mean, this is when we came, started watching with the characters. We watched it specifically because we saw Boys Over Flowers. And, and, and then, Ho. yeah, and even Ho. And then the natural transition was, oh, yeah, to our first little taste. Because <laughs> yeah. that's the next one he did. Uh, and I don't think it's been disappointed. I mean, when we, you know, when we first started out, I didn't know any of the other characters in this. But we've seen a couple of them and other things mm-hmm. now. Uh, yeah. So Gaeen, I saw in Summer Sense. We haven't done a review of that yet. But um, that was a good one as well. And then In He um, is actually, right now, she's in Bachelor Vegetable Shop. Shop. And she's also in um, Protect the boss mm-hmm. so we've seen them in a couple things now and we enjoy them as actors yeah. as well but obviously we came to it uh, even though from- <laughs> no <laughs> uh it didn't disappoint okay so chemistry so what do, you, what do you think so what's interesting about this one is this one's sort of talking about like it, it seems like taboo topic in korean drama like mm-hmm. it, having a gay uh character so we've only really noticed this before in sung kung kwan scandal and then a few of the japanese dramas i've watched mm-hmm. they've talked about it but really very rarely so if the chemistry dynamic is a little different yeah, I think it's interesting because it's supposed to start out as, like, friends, and, like, mm. they, he doesn't really like her at all as a person, or, I mean, as a, like, potential woman, you know what I mean? They always say that, like, see was a woman or not, yeah. um, and it's supposed to start out that way, and then he sort of grows to like her by living with her, and, um, you know, I think that the chemistry with the story grows, and I think that, you know, he starts out, I think that makes it more believable. Mm-hmm. This is definitely not, like, an instant fall in love thing. This is one that grows. And the thing that I think I always forget right. about this one is that he moves into the house, like, with his friends, like, sort of to seduce her and mm-hmm. get, like, the, yeah. the tricks of the trade from, the, like, the architecture of the building. Um, but he really, you never really get that seduction. No. I mean, that's never something mm-hmm. that's, like, happening. So that's maybe, like, a plot, like, they forget about somewhere along the line. Mm-hmm. But, um... Yeah, the dynamic between them is fun because it just seems like they're always very confrontational and we really enjoy that. And I think the other characters like Chang Rule mm-hmm. and um, In He, like, you know, they all sort of add something to the story. Mm-hmm. This is one where they're not taking anything away. And I think that that's really important to a comedy like this, having other characters. We, we did a review of My Girlfriend is a Gumiho. Mm-hmm. And I think some of the issues with that was, or like the really only issue I had with it was that the supporting cast didn't give as much. And this is one where I think the supporting cast did. It was really good. Okay, so Love Triangle. Okay, so this isn't really like, you know, the love triangle in a traditional way. I mean, she starts out with the story. She meets him because she's engaged, or no, sorry, she's dating um, Chang Rul. And, um, you know, he ends up, like, doesn't break up with her really ever. And get married, just gonna marry her best, her best friend. friend. And he, well, that was a rough story, like, yeah. right from the beginning. <laughs> and somehow, like, they kind of, everyone kind of gets over that throughout yeah. the story. That kind of reminds me of Full House. Like, yeah, it's a hell. hard story to begin with, and then you have to sort of just get over it. Really bad friend. <laughs> Yeah, like a terrible friend. Um, but, I mean, you know, the love triangle is then sort of making him jealous. She, like, flirts and he teaches her how to become a woman uh, in the Korean words for it. Um, and, I mean, so that's kind of how that builds a love triangle. But I don't really think, I think we all kind of know right away that other people aren't going to really matter much yeah. in this love triangle. In the love triangle. I mean, in he tries to seduce Jin Hu and... <laughs> no, it doesn't really work. It doesn't really work. Okay, so mistake identity. So my identity is yeah. really important here because it's sort of like sexual identity, um, the identity he doesn't know, like, when he first meets her, that her father is this, yeah. like, famous architect. So there's just so many, like, I mean, they, like, fight off the bat, and then, mm-hmm. like, somehow she becomes the most important thing to him getting this, like, huge contract that yeah, he needs. I think she, she grabs his butt or he grabs her butt yeah. the first scene the first thing she, yeah she grabs his butt no he grabs her yeah and she grabs him yeah so there's you know some interesting things that happen in this story. um okay so bad guy turned good okay well i think with this i mean you, like he's sort of the bad guy because he's going in there to get information yeah. about you know the, how, how she lives in because it's architecturally important uh to him and to his like potential future but um i mean he's never really a jerk about no. it and he never takes advantage of being in the house, and if anything, like, he's really good. And, it, yeah, he really he's fights it, the fact that he's attracted yeah. to her, so, I mean, that's what you'd love him even yeah. more for that, right? I mean, and then Chang rules, like, bad guy turned good, yeah, he's, like, a total jerk in the beginning, and he comes a little less of a jerk, maybe. <laughs> but he's still, <laughs> he's still a jerk. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so piggyback ride. Yeah, this one has a really sweet one, yeah. uh, drunken piggyback ride. Which makes it all better. Which is, you know, standard. <laughs> uh, this, is gonna be, this is one of the ones where, this is one of the first one we saw that there was, like, the piggyback ride thing, and, like, the whole jokes about how heavy you are and carrying you and things like that so 
Okay, so kisses. So this one made our best kiss yeah. list. This one's awesome. There's game a, over kiss. <laughs> the game over kiss was really good. Uh, that one definitely made our list. And there's also there's a bed scene in this mm -hmm. one. So there's definitely a few more like adult themes in this one as yeah. opposed to some of the other ones we've watched before. Um, I think this definitely pushed the envelope a little bit yeah. more than other ones. I mean, they definitely talk more about it's because it starts to talk called personal taste, talking about personal preferences, and then, you know, obviously pushing the envelope and um, with relationship things. And obviously, I saw this one pretty early on, um, like right after it came out, and I think that I assumed a lot of other dramas were going to be like this, and as to watching a lot more now, yeah. I know that that's definitely a little bit more pushing the envelope. Than a lot of others, yep. Okay, so fashion. So uh, okay. he has interesting clothes. He has, you know, you know, I'm, even how they like to put... Yeah. Some great things on him. I mean, yeah. there's some suits in here that are crazy. No, I don't know any guys that would ever wear them, but he looks great in everything he wears. Uh, there's some giant lapel things mm, going like on. Like an asymmetrical lapel. Asymmetrical lapels. I mean, yeah. it definitely reminds us of Boys Over Flowers because it's really dramatic clothing for guys. Yeah, I mean, he's for like more office suits. wear. I mean, he, he's supposed to have no money, yet somehow he's wearing like $4,000 suits. So. Yeah. <laughs> the, and the thing is, like, none of these, if you're supposed to be like thrifty, I mean, just the kind of tangent side thing. If you're wearing an asymmetrical suit, you're not going to get a lot of wear out of that. Like, or people will, might recognize, like, <laughs> you're wearing the same strange suit. lapel suit. So, I mean, you'd have to have a pretty big wardrobe of interesting items like yeah. that to be able to pull stuff like that off. But, um, suspend disbelief and <laughs> walks out. That's one of the things I had trouble getting over. Yeah. yeah you know, like, I can't really buy what someone's telling me that the, that the character is, like, has no money. Yeah. If. That's actually really funny because, in that, uh, yeah, so many shows we watch, they always have these crazy wardrobes and have no money. <laughs> yeah. Like, what's the new one? The Thousand Kisses? Yeah. She's supposed to have, she's supposed to be very, very poor. She's got, like, Great six clothing. inch heels on every day. I can't imagine that. Okay, that's a tangent. Sorry. <laughs> that's a tangent. <laughs> okay, so music in this one. Do you remember any big music? I mean, not really. Just, like, the yeah. songs they always play and things like that. It wasn't a big music one. Yeah, so, um, what is your I rate merch? this eight piggyback ride. Eight. Um, I think that this is, you know, really sweet drama. I like the kisses in it. I like that it kind of pushed the envelope a little bit more. Um, but just, like, it kind of loses itself in the other string of dramas for me what stands out for it is like the kisses and things like that but okay so i'm gonna give it same score i'll give it an eight it'll be like my twin here but i would say that i give it that more for but i think this, i really love the actors or so the main characters are great i also think that um yeah the kisses were some of my favorite kisses in any drama we've seen and i guess appreciate the show for taking like a new look at something that we did see in a lot of other dramas so it's a little bit different from a lot of the other ones thanks guys bye